Good evening, everyone. Dan Gabriel here with an evening update on the racing fleets and the cruising fleets. See how the progress has occurred over the uh, evening and into the night here. We earlier today spoke about the start of the racing fleet. We're going to look at them first, and we're going to get to the cruisers here in a second. Um, the racing fleet, we're looking at light conditions, likely to be heading up the left side, up the coast, uh, in, in an attempt to chase a thermal uh, due to the light winds in the, in the middle of the lake. And so, as we'll see here as we let these, these guys play out and we see how they, they left Chicago and the routes they've taken, it, it appears to be true uh, that there was a nice thermal today. Actually, probably more of a thermal than most of us might have thought, but um, they moved really well for a while, and just about dusk, there was a lot of tweets and a lot of commentary here on the social media aspect of this, stating that they're you know, seeing glass, good water skiing weather. Um, but we'll let them play out here, and you'll see that I think the uh, that calm at dusk has now passed. So we'll see how this looks. Cruising class, or I'm sorry, trophy class going up here. Clearly, the boats inside on the shoreline doing better. Uh, they've they've definitely outpaced the boats further into the lake. Um, giving evidence that uh, the thermal was there and held true. So now as we, we poke around and just kind of look at what the boats are doing right now. So this is active at uh, right around 9.30. So we're seeing the Beneteau 36.7s. Here's Grizzly doing 5.3 knots. Here's Viper 135 doing 4.9. Oki Smoke 5.1. Getting more into uh, more reasonable more reasonable speeds for these guys. I think if we went back around here, we'd start to see three knots, two nine. This is when things looked a little grim, but uh, as it often occurs with warm summer days, nice high pressure and a thermal breeze, when the when the sun goes down, the wind shuts off, and the hope for the racers was that the gradient might pick up, and it looks like that hope might be coming through because they're starting to move again, and that is kind of fitting with the forecast as they've moved north the south breeze should kick in and be a little more steady. So hopefully that's what they're seeing. Turn on the cup cup division here. You'll just see the same thing occur. These are the faster boats. So these guys get up the lake just a little bit quicker than the trophy group. Um, you can see the big boats kind of poking out in front. They're going to obviously get to the new wind quicker. That's their advantage. But definitely the guys who stayed to towards shore, they gained. They gained most. Um, but these guys, the, the big fast guys, WindQuest, El Mastro, they're doing 10, 8.2 respectively. They're they're picking up speed. They're not at full speed by any means, but they're they're definitely moving okay. Um, as we cruise back towards kind of the back right side of the pack, Norboy at 5.8, Experience at 5.9, a Taylor 49. So, you know, the, not bad. Uh, it looks like they they might actually be getting that gradient coming down, which is encouraging for the night hours. And now specifically with this group, uh, it would be interesting to see how it plays out as they move up the lake. Uh, the bigger boats actually have the advantage of sailing more distance to get better pressure. Uh, that's not as true for the smaller boats that don't go quite as fast. Uh, there's just not as much much gain to be made from them by sailing more distance because they just can't go, go so fast to make up the, that delta. Uh, I'd be in interested to see how these lead boats, the real fast guys, um, what they do up here, because as, our, as you recall, our forecast from earlier today, uh, the wind's going to fill in, as we think, for the forecast in kind of the northwest side of the lake and come down. Um, that leads to a potential routing for these guys coming up and over the islands, kind of sailing a, a real wide arcing course. Uh, I'd be interested to see if that really takes place. Um, again, that'd only be for the, you know, the top third of the fleet at most, maybe not even that many, but interesting idea because it doesn't happen every year. Um, not often do people take take wide turns like that, so we'll see how that goes. And now we'll take a cruise up to the cruising class, who now are starting to enter the Manitous. Turn off Mac Cup, turn on cruising, and so they're they're sprayed all over the place. They we we left them earlier today. They had just gotten off of their uh, their rum line run over Friday night and they were starting to get a southerly breeze, potentially varying speeds, and the fleet split up and people are starting to jockey for, for left out in the middle of the lake, maybe trusting the forecast, taking rights going in towards shore, maybe thinking there'd be a thermal in there, some kind of localized weather that, you know, it's really you can't forecast, but local knowledge might tell them to go in there. So we've got people everywhere. 
this is a really interesting setup for for the night because as you'll see as we start to kind of touch on people see what they're doing we have infinite infinite diversion 3.3 knots we got Roxy at 2.2 knots a tweet there we got jug band at 3.5 knots I'm seeing pretty light uh, pretty light pressure low speeds going in through the islands um, and if you take a take a look out here we got Princess M at 6.5 Colombo Breeze at 6.4 and these guys Boderi going way across the lake going 4.9 really really fighting hard for what they think might fill in over here is is, is better pressure than over over in here whereas as when Wynn mentioned earlier today that there might be a conflict of uh, of, of thermal with gradient here that might turn off the wind so we'll see it's, it's really hard to project that kind of stuff and both <laughs> the cruising class is really set up to take advantage of whatever comes at least part of the fleet um, so interesting setup for these guys if if winds pick up or they uh, they get going here there's a good chance they'll be up in the straights in the better early part of tomorrow and that'll be great they'll be potentially finishing tomorrow that that's incredible and so just to recap this this day here July 19th kind of played out as as planned in some regard and um, it'll make for an interesting night though because this is where the uh, the weather really changes for a lot of the fleet so We'll wake up tomorrow. We'll see how things have changed. Wynn's going to take the helm tomorrow morning and give his synopsis of what happened and kind of give a look ahead for tomorrow. So it was a pleasure. Have a great night. We'll talk soon.